Hello everyone, I am Shadow Storm. Welcome back to another reaction video. In this video, I will check out Gwen Champion Spotlight uh, and gameplay from League of Legends. So we have 4 minutes and 10 seconds. Um, I will go with the first look without stopping, and then if I will, uh, if I will miss some information about the abilities or a passives or anything like that, I will go back and stop at that point and. I don't know, maybe talk a little bit about her whole concept. So yeah, um, let's just give it a look. Once little more than a handmade doll, Gwen was brought to life just as ruination rained deaths upon Runeterra. Okay. Armed with the misty memories and tools of her maker, Gwen fights with a flurry of snips and slashes. Okay. Give me more info. No time to rest. Think you can make the cut? Welcome to the Gwen Champion Spotlight. Let's see abilities. Gwen sows pain with her passive, a thousand cuts. Her attacks and certain abilities deal a percent of her enemy's max health on hit. Okay. If the enemy she hits is a champion, she'll recover a part of the damage dealt, granting her sustain. Okay. Gwen's Q is snip snip. Use Q to cut your foes down to size, snipping twice and damaging all enemies hit, with the last snip dealing substantial bonus damage. Enemies at the center of Gwen's snips take true damage instead, Ooh. and those unfortunate souls will earn a thousand cuts. Ouch. Looking to thread some extra damage? Gwen's Q passively stockpiles ammunition in the form of stitches for each basic attack she lands. Snip Snip can consume any save stitches to deal extra small slashes when you first activate Q. I guess snitches really do get stitches. I was waiting Hollow for that joke. Gwen's W summons mist around Gwen, making her untargetable to all enemies outside the mist for a few seconds. Wait, what? Enemies can still hit Gwen if they get inside the circle, and towers can always target her. But Gwen isn't defenseless. She'll gain armor and magic resist so long as she stays within the mist. You can recast W once while the ability is active to reposition it. And if Gwen attempts to leave the protective circle, Hollowed Mist is recast automatically. Keep an eye on the cooldown and use W to protect against ranged attacks while continuing to poke and jab. Your enemies won't be missed. Try again. I did. Okay. That Gwen's is a beast. E, skip okay. and slash is a dash that buffs her attacks for several seconds. Empowered attacks gain bonus range, attack speed, and additional damage on hit. The first attack to hit after using E reduces the cooldown of skip and slash, so you can deal damage without missing a stitch. I run with scissors. This is the only time it's okay to run with scissors, kids. Yeah. The first time you cast really. Gwen's ultimate needlework, she fires a needle that damages and slows your foes. Hit an enemy with an attack or ability within seconds of landing needlework, and you get to cast it again and again. Oh. Each time you cast Needlework, it fires off more needles, dealing more damage, up to three total casts. Okay. A thousand cuts is applied to all enemies hit with Gwen's ultimate, allowing you to really reap what you sow. No loose threads. Gwen is tailor-made for the top lane, constantly attacking and stacking to weave a tapestry of both pain and sustain. Looks like scissors beats rock after all. <laughs> she in the early game and avoid champions who can outmaneuver her mist. While Hollowed Mist can protect against one-off skill shots, Juggernauts can get in close to take you out as they tank damage. And in ranged matchups, you run the risk of getting caught outside the mist. Play it safe so you can craft your victory in the mid to late game. She turns back into the doll really when she dies. to life hunting down opponents and using oh. needlework to damage and slow. Here's a sewing trick. By constantly using her skills alongside her passive, Gwen is able to dish out damage with short cooldowns and steady sustain. Enemies making a run for it, skip and slash in hot pursuit to watch them unravel. No stitching that back together. Gwen deals constant damage, so rely on your tight-knit team to keep you safe when you go for the kill. Position with Hollowed Mist staying just out of reach, and you'll get your point across. Lucian, you missed too many shots. All dolled up and ready to take on the rift? You can learn more about the hollowed seamstress by clicking the links below. Oh. Um. Okay, I am not really up for that skin of hers at the end. Uh, I don't like it, I'll be honest with that. Um. 
But yeah, that was a quick uh, spotlight and a little of the gameplay. Okay, uh, what I want to say... Uh, let me see... Mm, okay, I guess we can start from the start. Um, so it hurt passive first. Um, so, a thousand cuts, uh, basic attacks, heals her, and um, she does a percentage, maximum health percentage uh, damage. So, that's... I, 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 could, I see that this is the trade from, like, Viego and her now, so I guess the Ruination um, champions, I would say, will have... Um, maximum, uh, maximum percentage, max health percentage damage dealt, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's her passive. Um, then with the Q, with the snip snip. Um, in the middle, you take the uh, true damage, which is important to get, uh, like reporter to remember. But um, anything else, um, she deals damage around. Um, simple as that. Um, uh, I think that the, I don't know if this um, stacking is part of her passive or the Q, so I'm not sure about that one. Um, but then with the W we have like Sana has her own mist, uh, Gwen has her mist, and this uh, Sana also like you, you also can't. You can't target Sana, but you can hit her. But Sana is moving within the mist and can't do anything. But Gwen, like, puts the mist out, and you basically can't. You can if you are out of the circle, you can't hit her. And I see that this is go. This goes for the. I mean, you can't. You can't target her. You, she can't be hit by the skill shots. Um, I mean, the towers will target her, but like, does that also apply all the CC there is? Like, I, I saw like the Maokai's ultimate in the previous um, um, little short showcase of hers. Now here, like with the Ash ultimate, with uh, v uh, Vagar um, E, like. She is actually like if there is ability outside of her mist, she can't be CC'd. Or if I'm like I don't know if I'm getting this uh, correctly or not. But with her E, um, of course, the champion who needs a dash, um, dash and bonus uh, attack damage, plus getting um, a bonus range and um getting cooldown reduction if like she basic attacks then um so yeah then basically something uh, something like trinamir um but yeah her ultimate um her ultimate kind of reminds me of the old irelia's ultimate uh if you guys remember how 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 that worked uh but yeah like um I don't know how, uh, I, uh, I want to hear one more time how she stacks more needles though. Let's, let's start here. The first time you cast Gwen's ultimate, Needlework, she fires a needle that damages and slows yeah. your foes. You won. Hit an enemy with an attack or ability within seconds of landing Needlework and you get to cast it again. And again. Oh. Each time you cast Needlework, it fires off more needles, dealing more oh. damage. Up to three total casts. A thousand cuts is applied to all enemies hit with Gwen's ultimate, allowing you to really reap what you sow. No loose threads. She still heals with it. Oh my god, that's yeah. I mean, when she comes out, uh, I, I would be very surprised if she won't be broken. Um, but yeah, very um, very all over the place um, champion. Um. It's interesting to me that she is like the top laner. Um, I, I can see her being the assassin and I don't know the uh, the roamer. Like you can't if you get ganked by her, you actually can't stop her. You just need to run. Um, I mean, she only 
the only CC that does, uh, the only uh, CC that uh, that she has is her ultimate and that only slows so I guess um, yeah like she doesn't have much CC but she can basically protect herself from all the CC there is uh, I guess that's the fair trade oh no honestly um I would expect that she is there. She is dealing the AD damage, so she is building AD with attack speed and critical uh, critical chance, maybe. Um, and yeah, um, like I would say that she kinda has the same feeling as Irelia. Um, like. If you are good with her, you will just like dominate the whole map, and you you just can't be um how you 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 won't be able to react against her if that makes sense. I mean, with the Irelia, you also get stunned, but with her, you just can't do anything to stop her. She will just cut you down, basically. Um, so yeah. Uh, also. Uh, I mean, I think the video was well made. Um, a lot <laughs> of scissors in sewing jokes in it. Um, it was a solid one. Uh, I want to see one more time with the uh, Vegas E. Okay, let's see here. I mean, I guess we don't need the sound. So yeah, Vegas E is here. Yeah, she just moves without any problem um so she cast a miss here i am going into the slow motion for this um so yeah she dashes she w's not sure what that not sure what that is some sort of boost I'm not sure what that is, um, but yeah, she she moved through. I don't know if it just got this. No, it definitely didn't got this bound. Yeah, she just moved through it without any problem. Mm. So yeah, um, let me um, like put in the comments below what you think about her. Um, the design I very much like. Um, she looks very cool. <laughs> I, I'm very scary about her scissors. Those are actually scary weapons. Um, but yeah, that will be all for her Champion Spotlight and a little gameplay. Um, if you guys enjoyed my reaction and a little ramble at the end, give it a thumbs up. Uh, and if you are new and you like this kind of content, you are free to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications or if you are not so sure yet uh, you can check other videos on my channel and decide if you want to subscribe then um, so yeah that will be all thank you again and I will see you in the next one bye